Hello, and this is the workshop series, and in this episode, I'm going to show you how to sharpen your hedge cutter. In the next few episodes of the workshop series are going to be in this workshop. You can see how I built it on YouTube, this three part video. I hope you enjoy how to sharpen your hedge cutter. Peace. Okay, let's get started. This is my hedge cutter. This is the hedge cutter I'm going to show you how to sharpen today. On this hedge cutter, it's very dull. Um, it needs needs a good sharpening. It can still cut through hawthorn and things like that, but when you're doing neat jobs like conifers, shaving the sides, you need nice sharp teeth for that. So, first of all, I'm gonna be using an angle grinder. Got a sanding disc on this angle grinder. So to start off, you need to have a pair of gloves, and that's just for handling the angle grinder and your sharp teeth. You also need eye protection from any sparks or things like that. And then it's optional, but uh, ear defenders just because of the loud noise from the angle grinder. First of all, you need to run the hedge cutter so your teeth are not on top of each other. And that's because you don't want to be sharpening one side of the tooth and because they're double sided, be cutting the wrong angle on the tooth below and then you've got a run on the top and a run on the bottom. So to start off, I'm gonna lean the bar over the edge of the workbench so I can then sand down on these teeth. So you wanna make sure you get the same angle that is already on these teeth and just brush it because you don't wanna go too hard in because you wanna keep the teeth there, you don't want them getting too thin, but you just wanna neaten them up and get that sharp edge back. So remember, stick some gloves on, eye protection, and ear defenders. I wanna run it and very gently brush the teeth very lightly. Always keep the angle that is already on the teeth already. Just like so. And you can see where it's much more shiny on the teeth where I've sharpened them along just brushing that edge off and then I'll be doing that on the same side there so I'll run on this side first all the way down and then do the same on this tooth here all the way down and then that's both that side done then I'll do turn it over and do the opposites and then I'll have to run the hedge cutter to get those teeth to swap sides so then we can get this inside part here. Also, on a lot of hedge cutters, if you've got these guards, you'll need to take them off. There's three bolts that you'll need to loosen, take the tops off, and then you can remove the guard to then continue sharpening. And once you've removed those three bolts, the guard should just slip off, just like so. When you are sharpening, you can get little bits of metal on the bottom of the teeth and you can just pick those off. It kind of forms a little burr just from sharpening them, but you can take them straight off with your fingers. Just make sure to wear gloves. You can see the difference. So I've sharpened this side all the way down compared to this other side. all the teeth sharpened now. Once you've sharpened it you can give it a bit of a clean and also I'd recommend to put some WD-40 on it just as a bit of a service for it and then you'll be good to go. And that is how you sharpen your hedge cutter with an angle grinder. Thank you for watching the workshop series.